Developing right now, top leaders of the Tennessee Department of Corrections on the hot seat for four hours today, being grilled about a highly critical audit by the Comptroller's office. Problems the Comptroller said, quote, sure as the devil were not acceptable. News Force Nancy Amons live at Legislative Plaza. So what's he talking about here, Nancy? Well, Tracy, he's talking about this audit that was released on Friday. Huge audit, more than 200 pages. The audit found that Tennessee prisons have a lot of problems. Problems keeping staff, problems providing medical care. And the taxpayers have spent millions so far on a computer system they may have to scrap. What really goes on behind prison walls in Tennessee? What state auditors found raised serious questions. That's what State Comptroller Justin Wilson told a legislative committee. For example, there were eight inmate deaths that the prison system said were natural until the coroner said no, one was a suicide, one was a homicide, and five were drug overdoses. Why are your inmates dying of fentanyl and meth overdoses in prison? I think you see the same reason that they're dying in the public. Uh, the fact that they can gain access to, to the drug. Also under scrutiny, why the Corrections Department has spent $9 million so far on a $15 million computer system that can do absolutely nothing three years later. It seems like an obscene amount of money to me. Staffing kept coming up as a major issue. Turnover is 70 percent. Corrections officers working mandatory overtime to provide just basic security. And two for-profit companies have contracts to provide medical staff, but they didn't provide as many people as they promised. My son was diagnosed with hep C about 10 years ago, and though there is medicine that can cure him, he has received no treatment as of today. A former corrections officer said she witnessed two deaths at Trousdale Correctional, one from what she called staff neglect. One inmate told the staff he tried to commit suicide by taking 100 blood pressure pills. The staff didn't believe him and thought he was faking it, so they didn't give him the charcoal, which would have made him vomit so he wouldn't absorb the pills. Did that person die? Or, or? Yes. This isn't the first critical audit of the Corrections Department. Several lawmakers pointed out, though, they are making progress. I'm not happy with where we are yet. I'm happy with where we're headed. So what does this hearing really mean? Well, not a whole lot because this is what's called a sunset hearing where they decide if they're, a certain department is going to continue to operate. Not a whole lot of chance they're going to do away with the Department of Corrections. Tracy?